Hello friends. Welcome to my new JPA, Hibernate Programming Tutorial Series video. In this tutorial, we will discuss about, how to implement one-to-one -one mapping, by at the rate one-to-one -one annotation, in Hibernate using JPA. Let's move ahead. Friends. Let's discuss associations in JPA. Data is organized as tables in RDBMS, Relational Database Management System. Tables are related to each other through referential integrity constraints. An ORM must provide support to manage these relationships as well. Relationships in Hibernate are established using associations, and associations can be unidirectional or bidirectional. JPA implements many-sided relationship using a collection type, set, list, collection, map. Moving ahead. Associations are the relationships between entities. The relationship can be of following types. One-to-one. One-to-many. Many-to-one. Many-to-many. Moving ahead. Persistence.xml file used in this example must have following properties, as mentioned in the slide. Friends, you can watch my complete video on persistence.xml, in this tutorial we can skip explaining the persistence.xml. Only property to mention is hibernate.hbm2ddl.auto, having value as, create. This property signifies that, whenever we run application, it should delete previous schema and table, and create new table based on the persist method call. Moving ahead. Let's see what is one-to-one -one mapping in database model. One employee can have only one address and vice versa. Employee to address is a one-to-one -one relationship. Employee table has a primary key as, employee ID. In order to make one-to-one -one mapping between employee and address. The employee ID has to be foreign key in table address, as shown in figure. Moving ahead. How is this relationship represented in the entities? Employee entity has a reference to address. Address entity has a reference to employee and. Annotation used is at the rate one to one. In coming slides we will look into this more and discuss how all is done. Moving ahead. Let's create an entities by name employee and address. In order to know more about entities, please watch my previous videos on JPA. Let's move ahead and discuss, how can we map employee and address as one to one. Both employee and address has a reference to each other. That means, employee entity has address as one of its property. Similarly, address entity has employee as one of its property. Here, both the properties in employee and address, has to be supplied with at the rate one to one annotation. This annotation tells Hibernate that one employee is to be mapped by one address. Since, employee ID has to be made foreign key in address table. We have to follow two things. Number one. Put at the rate join column annotation over employee property in address entity, and provide name of the column, which will hold employee ID value in address table as foreign key. Number two. Provide map by value as employee for at the rate one to one annotation, which we have placed on address property in employee entity. The map by value here is employee, this name has to match with the instance variable name employee in address entity. Map by value should be provided, otherwise there will be sort of bidirectional relation. That is employee entity primary key will be foreign key in address entity and address primary key will be foreign key in employee entity. Moving ahead. Let's create test class to create one-to-one -one mapping. Let's discuss the code point by point. Number one, create an employee instance having employee name as, John Smith. Moving ahead. Number two, create an address instance having street name and zip code as, Park Street and, 4110678. Moving ahead. Number three, let's call persist method of entity manager to persist employee instance, and then persist address instance. This will create a table employee and address in database. Friends, for rest of code working you can refer my previous tutorials on JPA. Moving ahead. 
let's check database for table employee and address and run a select query on it, as shown in figure. The image in slide displays the single row for employee entity, having employee ID and employee name columns into it. The address entity has employee ID as a foreign key, which demonstrate one-to-one -one mapping between employee and address. Moving ahead. So friends, this was the tutorial on how to implement one-to-one -one mapping by at the rate one-to-one -one annotation in Hibernate using JPA. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, one-to-one -one mapping concept in JPA gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.